Let me demonstrate how to properly unbox and use the power supply. First, after we receive the power supply, we place it face up and put on the anti-static wrist strap. If we don't have an anti-static bracelet, we can also release static electricity from our bodies by touching the ground. Then let's open this package. Okay. When we receive the power supply, it looks like this. After we get everything ready, we can start unboxing. Okay. Let's cut the tape from the side. Be gentle. Okay. Open it up and take out the foam padding inside. Then be careful and take the power supply out. After taking it out, we first to cut off the tie wraps that are securing it. Cut off the tie wraps and then remove the securing part on this side. Remove it. When picking it up, be sure to observe it carefully. We should try not to touch its nozzle and carefully take it out of the box. Well, after we get the power supply, we should try not to touch its electrodes with our hands. Then, to prevent static electricity from damaging the power supply, we need to know how to distinguish its positive and negative terminals. These three models are the innovative Reiki RPG series and these two have clear positive and negative terminal markings, which are quite obvious. For couples, if the positive and negative terminals on the Reiki model in the middle aren't very clear, we can pick it up. And from its side, you can also see that this is a positive terminal. This is a father, explaining the Reiki Mengpu power supply to everyone. If it doesn't have positive and negative terminal markings, by default, the side close to the nozzle is the positive terminal. And on the other side is the negative terminal. We're now getting ready to test at the zoo and we need a cutting knife because the power supply needs a flat brick surface to work properly. We need to use a cutting knife to make a cut. First, let's peel off the top layer of soil from the power supply After that, we should wipe it down with an alcohol wipe. Then place it into the cutting knife. Let's make a cut on its cross section. All right, now we're going to use this Bengbu source. First, let's secure it in a fixture. And try not to hold it by hand while it's emitting light and also avoid touching its cross-section. Use eyewear. Avoid risky environments. When simulating power, test source. Each source has unique specs. We're using a pump source. 10.5 volts, 15 amps. Use settings to prevent failure. We are now testing the power supply for people in Bangbu. Each boom source has different current and voltage. The one we are using now is a Rakus 120W pump source with a voltage of 10.5 V and a current of 15 A. When using the pump source, please try to use the recommended voltage and current. Exceeding its voltage or current could lead to pump source failure, which may prevent it from emitting light properly. Once all the preparations are done, we will connect the power supply. The red wire is positive and the black wire is negative. Then we'll clamp it onto the power supply pins. After all the preparations were done, we present a tribute to the Anking Palace. The red wire is positive and the black wire is negative. Now, let's clamp it onto the power supply pins. Try to avoid any contact with the casing. Now let's power on the pump source. This will display its power. Under normal circumstances, the minimum current for the pump source is two amps. Let's try it with one amp to see if it emits light. Mm, the zoo is currently unable to emit light. If the end face of the fiber optic is not cut properly or is dirty and incomplete, the following situation will occur. 
At this point, we need to immediately stop the power supply to the zoo.